So your heart will beat several billion times in your lifetime. And every time it beats, the valve or the aortic valve has to open, allowing blood flow to get to the rest of the body. Unfortunately, those valves can begin to degenerate. So aortic stenosis refers to a narrowing of that valve. When people have aortic stenosis, the problem is that you cannot increase the demand that you put on the heart because it's already pumping at maximal capacity. So if somebody who has aortic stenosis tries to climb stairs, what will end up happening is they get very short of breath because they're unable to meet the oxygen demand of the muscles and legs. If you push through that, you could essentially could pass out. Over the last five to seven years, we have a new procedure where we're able to replace the valve in a non-invasive fashion, something that's referred to as TAVR. So it's a minimally invasive way to go in through an artery, typically in the leg, and take the a valve in and replace the old valve with a new valve. The difference between a TAVR and open heart surgery would be that patients would have a big chest incision if they were to have open heart surgery. Their length of stay would be anywhere from five to seven days. When you do a TAVR procedure, the length of stay for the majority of our patients anymore is 48 hours. They're out of bed the day after the procedure, they're walking, and they generally have no pain. We meet as a team weekly. We review all the patients that have been presented to be evaluated for a TAVR procedure. From that meeting, uh, I leave with a plan of care for each patient. Now the condition, aortic stenosis, typically occurs in the elderly. So it is very difficult for the older population to be traveling into the city to have the procedure done, particularly when the procedure is relatively fast non-invasive and has a limited hospitalization. So it's a real advantage to have it locally.